In today's video, we're going to be going over step by step how to set up a Hive OS account. Let's get into it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the hiveon.com website. I have a referral link in the description. Once you get to the website, you're going to come up to the top right and click sign in. On this screen, if you already had an account, you would log in, but we are creating a new account. So we are going to select register. Next, we're going to enter an email. We're going to create a login name, a password. And if we have a promo code, this is where we would enter that promo code. I have a promo code in the description if you would like to use it. HiveOn or HiveOS, to motivate clients to register with a code, they'll deposit 10 USDs into your account as soon as you deposit $10 in the account. After you've put in your information and a promo code, you can select register. After creating the account, you'll get a thank you and Hive OS will send you a verification email. You need to verify that and then we will log into the account. After verifying your account from the email that was sent to you, come back, click to log into your Hive on, put in your username and password and select login. When you log in for the first time, Hive OS is gonna recommend that you set up a 2FA via an authenticator app. I highly recommend this to provide additional security to your account. After setting up your 2FA, you are now ready to explore around in your farm. You can see your farm name, select into your farm. You can add workers. You can see how many workers you have, your balance, what's your daily cost, how much in funds you've added to your account create flight sheets. This is just where you set up everything for your Hive OS. And it's that simple. You have now set up a Hive OS account and are ready to add workers, wallets, and fly sheets. Please look out for some of my other videos in which I go over each of these components individually. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.